All right, today I am working on the Bobcat. So I already took the bucket off just now. Good old quick coupler, lifesaver. So I rebuilt my excavator bucket uh, just about a year ago and I broke off every tooth on this guy. And of course I did it on the job helping out a friend and that's where most of the damage always comes from. So I'm getting it all cleaned up. Uh, gotta, I'm gonna cut these guys off or I'm actually gonna cut this entire cutting edge off and put this one that I've had sitting around on here to rebuild it because this is completely worn down from the last time. So we're gonna get started on that. I have enough oxyacetylene to cut all this if it's gonna be acting like that because this is all weld right here. To cut these guys off. I guess that plate's going to stay on for now until I get back to it. God, I turned off the camera, so I'm uh, getting these old new ones on here. Just kind of hammering them on. Got it cleaned up a little bit. Nothing too crazy. See how I can uh, make it back on there. I'm gonna cut this crap off the rest of the way. Uh, make it fit. Complete patch of price. We'll see how how long it lasts. So one thing I like doing with the buckets is having these teeth be just about level with the end of the cutters on the bucket. Just so you, whatever you're cutting doesn't have extra wear on these guys. And then, you know, of course, same for this guy. And then have this guy dead center. And I just realized the other tooth I have was one of these rippers. So I'm actually going to have to cut this guy off of here. Because the other flat ones I have are pretty much nubs. And they're useless and they're worn out. I just had them for backup in case... Here's a comparison for you how worn out the other ones are. So, pretty much a year old. Uh, I think there's like 2,000 hours on these ones. So, I'm going to get this cut off and use that. I'm not even going to bother with this one anymore. It's just taking too much time. I ran out of uh, acetylene, so that just became a pain in the butt. So, I'm just going to use the ripper. Uh, fingers I guess the teeth whatever they're called and uh, so I had enough to get that cut off cut off these other ones I'm just gonna weld this piece to that guy and uh, get everything measured out properly make sure that the same width all that good stuff measure these guys so again they're you know within the cutting edge and weld everything on and kind of call it good spending a little bit too much time more time than I wanted to on this so 
We'll get this guy buzzed together and back on the excavator call good. <laughs> So this hopefully can't just rip off. Even though most of the force is being pulled out this way, but you know, doing bag drag and whatnot. Alright, this stupid uh, GoPro keeps on dying, so I got it charged back up. I went ahead and got everything else welded up completely. Um, got the rest of these guys are still a little bit toasty. Everything's welded up. Um, I have three passes on the back, two passes up along uh, the sides. Um, got the new teeth welded in. Uh, stacked that, layered it up. And just a single pass on these ones, they, they don't have that much force going on them. Uh, I mean, that's still the old weld. I didn't see any cracking or anything, so I did the same thing with these guys. Got, you know, underneath welded up. I did a little bit of harsh facing with uh, just my regular MIG wire, just some wear points I was seeing. So I finished that up. Um, that's about it. This took a lot longer than I wanted it to, but it's done. Hopefully it lasts me a little bit longer this time, more than a year. And that's about it. So a short video for the most part. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, got a good idea of what to expect if you need to do this to your machine. So that's about it. I'll see you guys on the next one.